In this video, we wanted to answer questions that have come up about reducing the space that Odin attributes can take up in a script. Sometimes an individual field in an inspector can require several attributes, and this can make for a long script. We're going to be taking a look at two different ways to reduce a space taken by attributes. The first is quick and easy, and the second is to create your own custom attributes using a combination of already designed Odin attributes. The first way to reduce space used by attributes is to simply put several attributes on the same line. Multiple attributes can be put together within the same set of square brackets and separated by commas. This works particularly well for short attributes without long input strings. But what if you want to make it even more compact? That's where composite attributes come in. It's surprisingly easy and quick to do. To get started, let's create a new c -sharp script. The script will be home to the attribute, so make sure to name it something descriptive. In my case, I'm going to call it property only. With the script open, we need to add both the serenix.odininspector as well as system namespaces to our script. The script needs to inherit from attribute rather than mono behavior. This is a built-in class in the system namespace and is not Odin specific. Next, we need to add the attribute include in my attributes above the class definition. This tells Odin to include this new attribute in the attribute processing step. These are the basic steps you'll need to do with each composite attribute that you create. Once that's done, all you need to do is add more attributes to the class. In my case, I'm going to add hide label and inline property. This combination is very useful when you have a reference to a struct or a class that is not a mono behavior. By default, Unity would show the properties of the field with a label and rendered in a foldout. This combination of attributes will force Unity to show the full inspector for the struct or the class. This is something that may be desirable throughout a project. With this done, your new composite attribute can be used just like any other attribute. Simply add it to an appropriate field, and Unity and Odin will do the rest of the work. Other examples of composite attributes might include a combination of preview field, hide label, and assets only to show texture assets in the inspector. Or maybe you have a list of assets that you constantly need to choose from. You can define an attribute that always creates a constant list of assets depending on any path or the name of the asset. The possibilities for composite attributes are fairly endless and heavily depend on your workflow and the type of the project. There are, however, some limitations on creating composite attributes with Odin. No attributes that deal with serialization can be added to a custom attribute. Unity won't throw an error, but the attributes won't have an effect. The most common of these would be Odin serialize and serialize field. Additionally, any attributes that are used for validation, such as required or validate input, will also not work until the release of Odin 3.0. But once again, no error will be thrown. The final limitation is more of a suggestion than an actual limitation. Attributes that are member dependent, such as enable if, are not recommended as it's not possible to require that the given member exists whenever the attribute is used. The exception to using member dependent fields would be the use of the property keyword. This gives access to the instance of the inspector property, which in turn gives access to a wide range of information, including the name, parent, and index of the property, plus much more. You can find a link to the full documentation in the video description below. Despite the limitations, composite attributes can be very useful and can help to trim down the visual space required by your code. We hope that video was useful, and if you have questions or requests for videos, let us know in the comments below or come on over to the DevDog Discord. And until next time, happy game designing.